Hi there, this is Sharon for Real Gals Fish. Once again, I'd like to thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Have you ever looked at a fishing float and wondered why there's different colors on it? Bands and fluorescent colors, yellows and reds? Well, it's not just for the aesthetics. They actually provide a very important function. First off, the bright colors at the top of the float are for visual identification so that you can see your float when it's in the water. Sometimes it's very difficult depending on movement of the water, how bright of a day it is, etc. But there's also another mark on these floats that you'll notice, and those are the little bands between the body and the head of the float. See here we've got a gold band. On this float you see it's a white band. And on this float here there's a black band. Same with this float. There's a black band separating the body to the top of the float. Well, what's that indicate? Well, that marks the equator of your fishing float. And the equator where is where the optimum balance or buoyancy of your float is, where the water line should sit to give its optimum buoyancy when in the water. If you weight your float and it, it is the water line is below the equator, the float will become unstable and tip back and forth. If you put too much weight on and the water line goes above the equator, then you're compromising the buoyancy of your float and it will sink. So the idea is when you're setting up your float, take in consideration what type of bait you're using and how heavy it is, and then adding your sinkers so that the line just comes up to or just below, a shade below those bands on the floats, and that's where they should sit in the water for its optimal buoyancy. Okay, so that's what that band is for. And that's why I like to use slip shots when I'm using the floats when I'm fishing because you can take them off a lot easier than you can an inline um, weight. All right? So that gives you a little insight as to why there are different colors on fishing floats. And this is Sharon for Real Gals Fish. Until the next time, tight lines. Well, y'all come back now, you hear?